So there's quite a few things I like about this cart, and there's really only one that I don't. But it doesn't really have anything to do with the design of this cart in particular. It's mainly backing up. Uh, because there are two pivot points, one at the ball hitch and one here at the fifth wheel, it makes, diff uh, makes backing up pretty difficult. Um, and I'll show you that <laughs> here in a minute. Um, overall, I really do like it. It was not uh, too dif difficult to put together. I put it together by myself. Uh, the only real help I needed was, uh, well, first of all, you construct it upside down to put the, uh, the axles on and the wheels, and etc. And then you have to flip it back over. Um, once all that is on there, including the wheels, that whole assembly, it's heavy. I don't know how many pounds it is, but it's heavy. So I used my uh, grapple and tractor to, to help raise it up to almost a pivot point. And then from there, I was able to pull it down to the ground uh, on my own. So let's get into the, the, the fine detail. <laughs> um, it has a fifth wheel design, like I've already said. This is a steel mesh uh, bed. It is 72 inches long and 38 inches wide. The uh, cart overall is only about 48 inches wide. And that is the main reason I got this because I need to be able to get in and out of my trails and navigate through my trails without getting, uh, getting hung up uh, while I'm in there. These, uh, they call them, the manufacturer calls these side bolsters. Um, I've heard them called many things, standard stanchions, log poles, whatever. Um, they're a pretty interesting design. If I take off this chain, and I'm gonna do this anyway for the, uh, for the demonstration. If I take off these chains here, then I can remove, um, can remove all of them put that back on there or I can leave some of them on etc it's just configurable you know however you want it but the design for holding these on is pretty cool actually and I'll show you that here in a second don't really need a washer on there um, you know what now that I think about it it would be Probably better if this had a linchpin on it so you don't have to worry about a nut and a bolt. Um, I would leave this one on a nut and bolt probably and this one I would just use some kind of a linchpin. I think I'm going to go pick some of those up. Anyway, to, uh, to remove these, simply flip this over, pull it out, pull it up. Pretty cool. Pretty easy. Um, in fact, when I go to actually put some logs on here, I'll be doing that all the way around. There we go. And they go back just uh, just as easy. The tires are the only point of contention. Of all the people that have reviewed this trailer, they all say it's wonderful in terms of construction. And I agree. It uh, appears to be built very well. Very good fit and finish, uh, powder coating, um, heavy gauge steel. It's really nice. The one place where it's going to fail is going to be these uh, tires and or wheels. The claim for the manufacturer is that it supports 1,800 pounds. Um, I figure that's anywhere from uh, six to, to nine decent sized logs. But these tires have been getting some pretty poor reviews. Now, I talked to someone on YouTube that actually has one of these carts and has been using it for a long time. They say they've had no problems with them. So like anything else, it remains to be seen. The big tool rack comes with a two inch uh, hitch receiver. Um, before I put the ball hitch receiver on uh, this part of the, the tongue, I was just using the regular uh, cart, you know, pin and hole uh, setup right here. And frankly, it was just, it was so high off the ground that when I was doing my original test driving around, the front of the cart would actually lift up off the ground depending on the, you know, the, the slope of the hill. So I decided I better drop that thing. Well, I dropped it four inches um, and it just wasn't enough. So long story short, I wound up getting, getting an eight inch drop. But what that lets me do is keep my big tool rack raised all the way up. 
this is actually working out really well. I have never carried any uh, cargo in the trailer, not yet. I have gone through the, the woods and the trails and just make sure it'll fit. And that's where I learned that it's not easy to back up. <laughs> and uh, anyway, all right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop it right in here. And since I'm gonna be putting logs on it, I want it to be I want it to be pretty steady so we'll put down some chalk blocks there obviously I'm going to be loading from this side so we'll take we'll take these side bolsters off on this side And I'm also going to take off the uh, front guard. While I was grabbing these out of the back of the big tool rack, I was thinking, well, you know what? Maybe you should just start with these on in the first place. If this was a heavier trailer, that might work. Uh, what would concern me though would be dropping, because you have, you'd have to reach over and then drop them. My concern would be dropping them from a higher distance. Um, my plan from the start was to have one layer uh, directly on the this expanded metal of, of the bed, put, this, put these back on and then drop the remaining logs on top uh, so that the distance coming across this wouldn't be so much. I don't know, we'll see. All right, I need to be really slow because that's pretty high. carry the rest in the gravel. Now I'm going to have to pick a side. I'm going to pick the side closest to me.
Now one of the selling points of this fifth wheel design is that you're supposed to be able to turn turn the tongue or the um, the axle actually perpendicular to the rest of the cart without it falling over. Now that being said, obviously you want your load to be able to handle that. And since I didn't have the foresight to think about getting my tractor over here to hook it up, now we get to put that to the test. I don't even know if I can turn it, to be honest. No, actually, not too bad. Not too bad. That's, uh, I don't know. It's a little less than 45 degrees. But before we uh, try to drag this out of here, Let's get a strap across there. Let's see. It has these little bolt hooks. I don't know if I trust them. I'm gonna go straight to the frame. Let's see, do we have much shift? Not really. Check the tires and wheels. They look fine, they look fine. They look good and they look good. Let's check our big tool rack. Looks good. Hitch, everything made it. So I believe that was a good test. Um, also, believe that it was as much of test for the big tool rack, uh, being able to tow that um, as it was for the trailer itself. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to be notified when I release new videos, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell. There is no cost to subscribe. It is totally free and you can help my channel grow. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you on the next one.